Hi, I'm Megan from Warm Glass and today I'm going to show you a technique called Freeze and Fuse. It's a really fun technique for creating small details which you can add to your pieces to create lovely bits of detail. So we have these Freeze and Fuse moulds that are perfect for creating small details like birds, butterflies, flowers and leaves which can be tack fired to your pieces to add lovely details. Um, so I'm going to show you the technique. So first of all, you want to get your mould, make sure it's nice and clean. Um, these can be reused, so they're quite cost effective. And you want to choose some powders. It's important to choose opal colours rather than transparents. Transparents really don't work for this technique. They just look muddy and um, they don't look nice. So go for opal colours. Um, I've got some Egyptian blue here and some adventuring blue, um, but you can really use any colours you like. Um, and because you're working with powders, we need to wear a dust mask, so I'll pop that on. Um, other tools that you'll need at the ready, um, a small paintbrush, I've got a little palette knife here, and we'll need a pipette and some water. So what I want to do is I want to gradually fill these moulds with powder and water and I'm effectively going to create a glass sandcastle which then will pop in the freezer and will freeze so that it's solid and then we can fuse it really quickly so that it keeps its shape. So I'm going to pop my mask on and show you how to fill the mould. Okay, so I'm going to start to fill these moulds. Um, you can use different colours in the same mould, it doesn't have to just be one colour all the way through. So you can see with these uh, flower ones, I've done yellow in the middle and then purple around the outside. So to do something along those lines, if you use um, a tool like a palette knife and just push some powder into that middle there and then using your paintbrush, you can wet it slightly and then you can push that powder to exactly where you want it. And then with a wet brush, you can also remove powder from the areas where you don't want it. And now I'll go to my second colour. just going to put a thin layer over the top to start off with. And I'm going to add a drop of water, or a couple of drops. And then if you flick the side of the mould, that will level out and you can add a little bit more powder. You don't want to add it all in one go because it will trap air bubbles. So you want to make sure it's as even as possible, just adding a little bit of water and a little bit of powder. And you can see when you add the right amount of water, it just soaks in and those bubbles come to the top. And you just want to keep going until you fill that area. So you can see you don't really need much water at all. When you start to flick it, the powder will just soak in. But if it is looking too dry, just add another drop. So once you're happy that your mould is filled, um, take a piece of tissue paper and just soak up the excess water on the surface there, just lightly dabbing it. And that's ready then to go into the freezer. It won't take very long to freeze, maybe only 20 to 30 minutes because it's so small. Um, and once it's frozen, it's ready for the kiln. So here's some I froze earlier. So these are ready for firing. Um, you can put them straight onto a kiln shelf, um, a kiln washed shelf or thin fire paper, doesn't matter either way. So this one's got kiln wash on it. 
um, and you just want to be really careful and try not to handle them too much because they will melt very quickly. Um, and just turn the mold upside down and just stretch it and they should fall onto the shelf without any damage. And they can be fired, so have a look at the firing information on the website for Freeze and Fuse. They'll only need to go up to 695 degrees centigrade. You just want to fire it just enough so that that, that powder sticks together. If you go any hotter, it will start to melt and you'll end up with a blob rather than a you know, nice defined shape. Um, you also don't want to fire them too hot at this stage because if you then want to add them to a piece, so tack fire them onto a piece um, of full fuse glass, that's an extra firing that they're going through. So they will melt a little bit more. So fire them lower at this stage and then you can refire them and they'll hold their shape later. But you can find all the firing information about Freeze and Fuse on, in the knowledge base on our website. So I hope you found that inspirational. Thanks for watching.